And we're going to take a break. On the other side of it, the Super Tuesday part of today. The race is all about momentum, and John Harwood apparently knows which way that's going. John. Aaron Hitwise, the online intelligence service, reports today that Barack Obama's got twice as many hits on his website as Hillary Clinton in the most recent time period. But what both those candidates need today is votes. Millions of them are going to be cast today. We'll talk about some of the economic stakes next on Street Signs. Trading day of 08, as we said, 306 was January 17th, and that so far the weakest one day loss. All right, it is the biggest presidential primary day ever in the history of this country. Chief Washington correspondent John Harwood is here in our studios to tell us what central issues are in key states, and there are a lot of states here. There are a lot of so, states, Aaron. Yeah. 24 are going to be selecting convention delegates today, mm -hmm. and we've talked for some time about how the economy has really taken over past the Iraq war is the key issue, but let's look at some of the guts of the economic issues at stake. Mm -hmm. Start in California, that's the biggest state. Look at those foreclosure filings, up 238 percent from 2006. It's the fourth ranked state in the rate of foreclosures in the country. That's a good market for Hillary wow. Clinton and her message on the economy. Same is true of unemployment. Look at that rate, 6.1 percent. The national average is 5 percent. So this ought to be a fertile ground for both Hillary Clinton and Mitt Romney, who's making the economic argument uh, on okay. the Republican side. And some polls show him tied with John McCain. Now let's move the center of the country, Missouri. You also have foreclosures up here, not as much as they uh, are up in uh, California. And unemployment, however, is up significantly over the national average. Again, that ought to be a good place for Mitt Romney and Hillary Clinton to do their economic messages. Mm -hmm. But these races are close. And actually, Mike Huckabee's in second place, the populist Republican uh, in the state of Missouri on the Republican side. Finally, let's look at New Jersey, next door to Hillary Clinton's home base. You see that uh, foreclosures are up. This is a high value state, uh, one of the places where those top end homes are in real difficulty. Speculators have been hurt quite a bit. And you look again at the unemployment, not quite such a problem in uh, New Jersey. And of course, Barack Obama has been coming on in this state. John McCain's got a very large lead with backing from Rudy Giuliani. Interesting. I, I just, by the way, like the whole little touch and go in, touch twice and go out and get to the stage. You know, when we have the so candidates' pictures up there, you got to get them right on the nose to make the thing pop up. Is that really? Yeah. Huh? Very yeah. interesting. And I wonder what anyone's trying to say with that. All right. Well, look, you picked the states. You're the expert here. And we have reporters across the nation, actually, in the three states uh, that John identified. Jane Wells is in Burbank, California. Hampton Pearson is in St. Charles, Missouri. I hope he is done with his pancakes by now. Bertha Coombs is in Edgewater, New Jersey. We begin with you, Jane. Hey, Aaron, a record number of voters expected here today, 9 million for a primary. Why is that? Well, because the primary is now in February, so it actually uh, matters. California, as John said, has the most delegates. It's also the epicenter of this housing slump, the economy very much on the minds of voters here. For Democrats, according to the latest field poll, too close to call. For Republicans, John McCain leading going in, but California Republicans tend to be more conservative. They're not quite like their governor. Democrats will apportion delegates, but for Republicans, it's winner take all. Half the votes there are already cast here. Absentee ballots sent out weeks ago when John Edwards and Rudy Giuliani were still in the race. I bet a lot of those voters wish they could recast their votes today. They can't. Hampton, show me what you got in Missouri. <laughs> Well, here in the Show Me State, Missouri, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are in a virtual tie on the Democrat side for the 88 delegates, which they will basically apportion based on congressional districts. John McCain has a comfortable lead over Mike Huckabee, the Republican prize, 58 delegates, winner take all. State election officials here in Missouri are predicting a record turnout as high as 40 percent. So far today, voting has been strong and steady statewide. That could all change because of the weather. We've got rain now, snow and sleet on the way, could affect turnout later on today uh, to Bertha Coombs in New Jersey. Bertha, is weather a factor where you are? You know, we've had rain off and on this morning, Hampton, but uh, a lot of folks are anticipating that this, again, is going to be very high turnout. New Jersey used to be the last in the nation primary. Since November, we've seen 50, nearly 50,000 new voters coming in because now they're really in the thick of the fray. John McCain here with a comfortable lead as well over Mitt Romney. A tightening race between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Hillary Clinton leading 48% to 43%, according to the polls coming into today's vote. And there are a lot more delegates. Democrats in this state with 107 delegates for the Democrats up for grabs. Aaron and John. 
All right. Thanks to you, Bertha. And I saw some people voting behind Bertha. So John and I are sitting here as everyone was doing their report. A couple questions. One, something that you said, John, 40 percent of the votes in California have, may have already been cast. Could be, depending on the overall turnout. Right, right. Because they encourage early voting, people who are away, whatever it might be. Jane, how significant is that for the outcome tonight? Well, well it's huge because a lot of these votes were cast before Barack Obama made his huge surge. Again, John Edwards was in the race at the time. I mean, I, I voted weeks ago. Rudy Giuliani was in the race. Fred Thompson was in the race. A lot of these votes now are not going to matter. But there is one other thing out here. Registered independents can vote for Democrats, cannot vote for Republicans. And, John, I'm wondering, does that hurt John McCain? Certainly could. Jane, I want to ask Hampton a question, though, about turnout in the state of Missouri. One of the key factors here has been rising turnout in many places that benefits Barack Obama. And in Missouri, you've got a significant African-American population. Do we have any sense, Hampton, of whether that vote is surging today? Could tilt the playing field a little bit in uh, Barack Obama's favor? Well, we're expecting uh, the turnout, the African-American turnout in particular, to be fairly air, uh, heavy here in the St. Louis area, perhaps not as heavy in Kansas City, the two major population centers, of course. The other buzz we're hearing about Barack Obama is, like he has done in other states, he could have a significant increase in turnout among young people, the college crowd here. To offset that on the Democrat side, Hillary Clinton has a lot of the old blue-collar, let's say, Richard Gephardt-type union voters uh, here here, particularly in the St. Louis uh, area as well. The great thing, John, about Missouri, as you know, you can get every kind of electorate and every slice of the economy somewhere here in the state of Missouri. <laughs> All right. Thanks to you, Ham. Thanks to Jane Bertha as well and John Harwood, of course. Well, we've just got some news in from NBC. Ah. Calling the West Virginia caucuses for Mike Huckabee, that is a very surprising development because Mitt Romney has done well in caucus states. He's been hoping today there are six or seven caucus states yeah. that are going to vote today. Uh -huh. That's a place where Mitt Romney's money and organizational ability can be decisive. But Mike Huckabee's there blocking Mitt Romney from trying to catch up to John McCain. Very interesting result. And this score one for Mike Huckabee, the first place he's been able to win, Aaron, outside of Iowa in those first caucuses. Uh -huh. West Virginia Convention, we call it. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. And an interesting development. And it's going to, that is the first of many. First of 24. A long, a long night. The NBC family has the primaries covered. And here on CNBC, it's a Your Money, Your Vote special. Up to the moment results and analysis. Ben Stein and the rest of the Cudlow and Company stock market politics gang starts at 7 and goes until whenever. It's sort of like a keg party, John. Later on oh, Street my. Signs at 2.30, we'll be talking about the Super Tuesday primary with NBC News Washington Bureau Chief Tim Russert, also the host of NBC's Meet the Press. And ahead after this, Apple shares are down almost 34% this year. Many of the names falling in the tech sector today. Lots of ways to describe that performance out of Apple. But how about we'll stick with this? It's not so great. Should you buy or bail? We'll talk about it after the break.